So today I thought I'd take you guys with me on a few morning chores. It's a cold morning this morning. This is our chicken coop. Chicken, we call it the chicken yard area. It took my husband and I some time to build this. Actually, he's the one who built it. I just helped with some of the time. We need to finish building the ramp for the chickens to come in and out of. It's been kind of busy these days. Starting a new homestead. Moving. Morning, ladies. And we already need to clean out the coop. Good morning, my chicken girls and my beautiful boy. <laughs> so, this is our rooster. His name is Rodney. Good morning, Rodney. That's his sister, Rochelle. Good morning, Rochelle. Their mother was my favorite chicken in the whole wide world. Her name was Eloise. She was such a clucky thing. I just absolutely loved her. The system seems to work. Oh, brother. <laughs> Good morning, Rodney. stuff. The system seems to really work right now for a small flock. <laughs> that is the back of the house. We've got a huge project going or getting ready to happen we have something like 12 trees that we need to plant and uh, these are all apple trees <sighs> pink ladies golden dorset this peach trees they're getting ready to go to sleep more apples because my husband and kids love apples these are cherry trees because i love cherry trees and we've got blueberries blackberries because we live in a desert so we can't grow raspberries very well i've got some smaller cabbage and so forth Over here off the side of our house, we have started putting in a garden. Whoa, sorry about that camera work. I just took a deep dip. We started our garden. We rototilled it. I will insert some pictures. And, uh, yeah, 220 feet of garden. That's just this that's um, done with the uh, paint. So this is our, what we're considering the main market garden, where we're going to have a few beds. There's just a few garden beds that you see marked out here. Just started this one. Started this one today. I have a bunch of 
red onions that need to be planted. So those are going in right away. These are, um, these ones over here, they are called Little Reds, I, I believe is what they're called. So just making out the garden beds right now. Um, so you can see over here. So each bed is four feet wide by eight feet in length. So we have marked out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five beds, and that's it. And then the rest of everything, even back here, is going to be rows. And then where these two fence posts are, that's all going to be rows. And that's four things that we're growing, that we're storing, canning, preserving, things like that. Where the dirt pile is eventually will be raised beds proper like with wood but we have not sketched that out just yet but this is what it's like trying to plan a homestead soil here is well <sighs> The top of the soil is bad, but when you start digging down, it's all clay. That's why all this brush and things can survive. So we had a, I think that's 20, I forgot how many tons of, of um, compost that is. This is what two acres looks like. <laughs> I haven't even shown you guys the front. I, we're not doing anything with the front of our house right now. It's just too much. We're trying to get a handle on this. We are gonna be getting some fencing in to fence in our yard. Because as you can see, there is no fence. So, we fenced off the patio because we have dogs and, you know, if they get lost out here, they're coyote food. We're thinking about getting rid of all of this grass. We're finding that the grass here, well, first of all, it's not native to Arizona this sort of grass. It's dying because of the winter, but this sort of grass isn't really native to Arizona. And I mean, you've got to water it and you know, you just can't eat it. <laughs> it's just not good for the environment. It, you know, houses a lot of critters and such. So we're debating it because we know the kids would enjoy running on grass. The dogs would enjoy running on grass. What we're thinking about doing is getting some adding to our chicken yard. We definitely know we're going to be adding to the chicken yard because, you know, for our size family, we're, we're a family of four, but there's six of us total. Um, my husband and I have two kids and then um, I have two family members that are with us, so family of six. Yeah, <laughs> you know, this amount, five chickens is not going to cut it. I mean, just not going to cut it at all. So when we moved onto the property, what we discovered is somebody who lived here before considered this a garden right here where we have the chickens. I disagreed with the placement of that because of the trees. It's completely shaded. This stage shaded for the majority of the day um, with the autumn sun. And I'm sure 
also in the summertime it stays pretty shaded so what we decided to do is turn this into the chicken yard but what we're thinking is we're going to add more chickens here but we're going to also back here add to the chicken yard because as you can see those are some really long boards and so we're thinking if we just continue to add the chickens we might be able to have ducks I don't know and more chickens we were originally thinking of putting our meat layers over here but then my husband wanted to he wants to make a um, like a mobile chicken coop and that would be really good too because then if we decided to keep the grass the meat birds could be on the mobile chicken coop and then they could add value to the grass and kill off the bugs when we first got here this chicken yard was so scary because it was filled with caterpillars or not caterpillars um centipedes roaches galore um just all kinds of uh spiders black widows brown spiders the kind that are not good for you it was really bad with insects since we've had the chickens in here nothing and you know i mean you knew it was going to be bad with insects because we have so many trees back here but since we've had the chickens in here nothing so that's why we're really convinced you know the chickens just do a fantastic job of getting bugs and so we're thinking that we are just going to either get rid of the grass or let the chickens be on the grass and let them get rid of the bugs for us I'd be curious what your thoughts are let us know in the comments below what you think. But this is the start of the Two Acre Homestead. Thanks for watching.